our latest and most ambitious game mode, The Forgotten Saga, which will be free to all Assassin's Creed Valhalla players. You do well to hide behind your monsters, daughter of Loki! So, you're going back to Niflheim? As many times as it takes. It is time to go to hell. Each time you cast me out will only make me stronger! Hello Vikings and welcome back to another awesome quick Valhalla video. <coughs> Sorry about that, something was in my throat, but now it is all good and we have some good news. We have so much content coming in 2022, mainly for free in Valhalla. So let's take a look. Year 2 in Valhalla and also it is 15th anniversary of Ascent Creed. So what we have had so far, the crossover for Odysseus and Valhalla. Of course we have had so many river raids, master challenges, tombs of the fallen, festivals, updates with new gear and features. So this has been a wild ride so far and we are entering the year 2 content that will be free for all players. So that is actually really exciting. So festivals, master challenges, armor building, tombs of the fallen. But the most exciting thing it is coming. We are going to have a new game mode. We're excited for you to experience this summer a new roguelite inspired journey into Niflheim, the spectacular realm of the dead. And what is roguelite? It is the game mode that favors short gameplay runs with victory conditions. So pretty much if you die, you have to start all over again. Pretty much master challenge stylish game mode that will be free. Niflheim, here we go. I will be definitely doing tips and tricks and guides how you can complete those because yeah the style of mastery challenges they are just in my alley. So in my understanding we are gonna have four different sections of the Niflheim that we need to complete. I'm not sure if it's section by section or do we need to complete everything. So if we die in the fourth one do we go back into the first one. But in the end, we will be fighting dragons and the mistress of hell, the daughter of Loki. Also, let me know in the comments if you remember this sound when we first speculated about the dragons coming into the game way, way, way back. But it is free. It is Lord of Ragnarok stylish. Maybe Master Challenge inspired. We will know much more this summer. So just right around the corner. How this new roguelite inspired game mode will be, how it will be, when it be, will be, all that coming later. Also we are having free weekend from 16th to 20th of June for Ascent Crude Origins. So don't miss the opportunity if you haven't played the game. It is free to download and test on the weekend. So definitely don't miss the chance because that game is awesome. To June 20th. The beautiful world of ancient Egypt is a great place to start revisiting and celebrating past Assassin's Creed games. We want to celebrate our 15th anniversary with you by releasing a free title update that our community has been passionately asking for. 60 frames per second support for Assassin's Creed Origins is now available. Experience ancient Egypt under the reign of Cleopatra, now in 60 FPS on Xbox and PlayStation next-gen consoles. Our 15th anniversary is about rewarding you for your incredible support. To get started, several sets of Assassin's Creed Origins tattoos, along with the naval pack, will be available this week in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You can find those tattoos for free from Ubisoft Connect and we will be showcasing those a little bit later on in now, this video. Head to our anniversary website and learn more on how to get involved with the celebrations. Take part in our weekly challenges for a chance to earn prizes and share your favorite Assassin's Creed memories by using hashtag AC15 as we leap into history. Join us this September as we unveil the future of Assassin's Creed during a very special event. We can't wait to show you what's in store. 
special event aka the competition where you can win something 15th year anniversary so much more free content coming for Valhalla free weekend for origins so much coming also we are gonna see the new game plus in end of the year for Valhalla and gosh I really want to replay every Ascent Grid game just by looking at this trailer how about you alright I cannot no longer go without talking or mentioning the upcoming games the rift that should be a basim standalone game that was supposed to be dlc for ascent creed valhalla but now there is speculation that the basim won't be the canon so let me know in the comments what you think because i really think the basim will be the canon have given you a home but there is more to this land eivor and what you are waiting more the free content the rift the nexus or the infinity and stay tuned until the end of the year for one last surprise we will reveal the last episode of Ivor's story as a free chapter for all players as well and yeah we are gonna get a conclusion how Eivor ended up in Vinland and how the Vinland became Eivor's final resting place that will be discovered as well I really hope we don't have any loose ends after the year 2 is over for example we have Odin runes in Ireland as well so Tombs of the Fallen pack 2 but what about the runes in Ireland also we should have fireflies in Frankia we have found them in Island of Sky in Ireland in the main game there are over 200 of them I have a full playlist filled with them so yeah also the wooden stick from the Dawn of Ragnarok I refuse to believe it's just a stick but as promised let's take a look of the tattoos the best way to claim anything from Ubisoft Connect it is going straight to the Ubisoft Connect from the game and usually you are getting your rewards almost instantly so we are getting two sets of tattoos the Cleopatra and Pharaoh's tattoo sets also we are getting Egyptian naval pack but let's take a look of the Cleopatra tattoos with female and male Eivor I actually really really like this tattoo set of course the chest piece and the back tattoos they are not visible and rarely the arms are visible as well but the face tattoo it is just badass just wanted to share a quick tip if you are new to the game you can change gender of the Eivor from the inventory then tap up and choose or let the game choose totally that is your choice on the male Eivor the chest piece and the back tattoos are more visible and yeah perhaps this beard style isn't the greatest for showcasing the chest tattoos little bit shorter beard the pharaoh's tattoos they are looking kinda like nye so use what you want I'm not telling you what to use but here are the tattoos Alright, that's enough for the tattoos and let's take a look of the naval pack from the distance, from the close, it is pretty okay, also considering that it's completely free, no money needed whatsoever, no opals needed whatsoever, so really cannot complain and keeping in mind what's coming for free in year 2, I think Ubisoft is doing actually a really great job but let's see how the game modes will end up probably a little bit buggy but hopefully nothing game breaking shields tailpiece sail figurehead they are looking pretty awesome and yeah don't forget the free weekend from 16th to 20th of june 2022 also huge shout out to channel members who are supporting this channel you guys are the best but for now Wolfpack, let's roll the outro.
thanks for watching remember to hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that i upload or when i go live also vikings have fun stay safe be strong hope to see you in the next one skatha over and up and bye bye